This one from Tesla Owners US and why I'm alone in the car because we have a good big adventure in front of us. It's we want to pull the maximum of a Model Y with a three and a half thousand pound trailer. And let's see how far we come after the intro. Take, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we'll... Okay, here we are Just on the highway Driving 55 miles per hour And it was from my home 120 miles uh, 100, no, 112 miles to the supercharger. Now we have 109 miles left. And it said I would arrive now with 28% before I should arrive with 30%. We want to make sure that nothing happens. So that's why we're driving with two cars in order to make all of the distance. I was always making at 55 the distance with the Model X. Uh, depending from the wind condition but usually that's how it worked and let's see if that works with the Model Y as well if you can pull that amount and how much the consumption is important as well the question is would it stay like that because currently it's saying 452 watt per mile and it's projecting 148 miles left but that could be deviating quite. So we have 279 miles left and we have, uh, well, that's about 95 miles to go. So let's check in in the next, uh, let's say, 20 miles and see what the consumption is then. Wow, now I tried something with the Model Y and that was not possible with the Model X. Basically, I turned trailer mode off. It still shows the trailer, but I turned it off here. And then I turned autopilot on. And now autopilot is on with trailer. So that was not possible before when the Model X, but now it is. So it still remembers, hey, there is a trailer. So I would like to know how long that lasts. It was possible with the Model X when I stopped it, had a trailer on it, turned the trailer mode off, and then we were driving without it. And now I'm driving trailer mode off. Trailer still keeps on because it's connected, but autopilot is on. That is pretty cool if that would be the way to do it. But let's see how last that longs. Let me, let me drive like a little bit. I'm watching it anyway. Some of the differences already. And the difference is the estimated calculation about how much you're ending up at your arrival. And when I'm looking at this, all of a sudden I got 26% at arrival again. So now what I have to do, I have to watch it for myself how I'm arriving with how many percent. And that is the difference from trailer mode on. So it calculates in trailer mode on. That is a good idea uh, about what's the remaining distance. And we will find out. So I have to watch it now. What is the distance to the final destination? This time the quad side supercharger. And how much do I have left? And I know about approximately what that is. And we keep an eye on it. Have a look again at the consumption. So this time we drove about 30 miles off with the trailer attached. And then when you look at that, it has 605 watt hours miles and 89 miles projected or now 88 projected range. So when you turn that off, there are 74 miles to quartzite. So we should make it. Okay. Let's hope so. There's another thing that's interesting. The topographical landscape, you can recognize 
on the charging. So currently it went downhill and it goes the consumption goes down. And when it goes uphill is the opposite way. So when you look at your topographical environment, even when you might not recognize that it goes up or down, uh, the consumption will be reflected. Now it's about even and then it goes up again. And here it goes up again in the back. And then you will see the consumption will rise again. So one funny sign here is so I'm driving since 2 hours 55 and I'm at 1% left to the super, towards the supercharger. Basically it's 20 miles to the supercharger. 31 is left on the estimate. And there comes a message, stay below 95 miles per hour to reach destination. Sorry, I'm driving since 2 hours 55 and I'm not driving 95. <laughs> that was a little bit funny. The yeah, system, the car thinks I'm driving 95 or higher than 95. No, the consumption comes from the trailer. Yeah, we're almost there yet now and uh, we're still 1% left, 8 miles to go, 42 miles it shows. Uh, actually it says here 7 miles to Quartzsite. We are there going to the supercharger now and we made it and I can tell you more results pretty soon. So, good. Keep the fingers pressed for the rest of the I seven miles. I recognize this, it miscalculated that. So when you look at this one, he started at 75% and the total distance of 112, which is not the case anymore because it uh, reshuffled somehow to 78% when I switched from uh, trailer mode to regular mode and then it's recalculated so we must end up with 10% when we arrive and not with 1% so you could see it also there are 36 miles and there are only a few miles to go so these are 10% pretty good We are at the supercharger and it's ideal almost, 10% left and the charging was 247 kilowatt, 1000 miles range. That is awesome. That is an advantage for our 2017 Model X because I can charge much faster here and that's what I'm going to use. And we have a shorter break now here at that charger and it was kept free. So you can see. This is this passage spot here and it kept free. So now we have our deserved breakfast. Yeah, that was a quick stop at the superchargers, not even 30 minutes and we still had to eat our breakfast as well. So now back to the desert as you can see and we can drive now because I charged up from 10% to 80% I say in less than 30 minutes. So we have 80% but we only have a little bit more than 40 miles to go. So that means no restriction in speed so far unless the speed limit. The speed limit is here 65. Oh, we could even drive faster. We could even drive 70 if we wanted to. Yeah. And it's still working. You know, trailer mode turned off, driving with the car in autopilot. So but it only allows me to drive five miles more or I have to change something in the setting. I'm, I might have to look at the settings. But 
now we're going quick to Big River RV at the Colorado River, California side. Yeah, we are in Parker, Arizona, and that's the border. And when we are crossing the Colorado River, then we are coming to the other side, to California. And California, here we come. 45 miles per hour, radar enforced. So I'm asking myself, where is your radar station? Where well, people with radar or airplanes cannot see anything yet here. Almost there. But it's in 500 feet, turn left onto Marina Street. Now turn left onto Marina Street. Big River RV Park. Here we go. And there is the Colorado River. Now your destination is on the right. And when you arrive here, what are you doing? That's the question. And we next to relaxing and everything. What we have there is we have some uh, friend, uh, Lars, and he did a nice video about uh, the place here and the river and what you can do at the Colorado River and so on. And that video comes now.